our intentions to get more knowledges about unknown facts, so we make lot of informations to show you. Please watch this full video. Coincidences Number 1 Balloon Unites 2 Laura Buxtons In 2001, a 10 year old Laura Buxton, who lived in Staffordshire, England, released a gold helium filled balloon asking for a pen pal to write back to her. The balloon traveled 140 miles to Milton Lilbourne before landing. After a 10 day wait, Laura received a reply from another 10 year old girl, also named Laura Buxton. The similarities didn't end there. They both had brown hair, blue eyes, and were the same height, despite being taller than average for their age. The day they met, they both unintentionally wore pink sweaters with jeans and pigtails, and also brought their pet guinea pigs that were the same color. Number 2. Civil War in Wilmer McLean Wilmer McLean's farm in Manassas, Virginia was the setting for the First Battle of Bull Run in 1861, which was the first major battle of the American Civil War. In 1862, when the Second Battle of Bull Run began, McLean moved his family to a quaint town called Appomattox Courthouse, where he believed he would be far from the war. He was wrong. In 1865, General Robert E. Lee decided to surrender to Ulysses S. Grant. A messenger was sent to find a place for them to meet. It turned out to be Wilmer McLean's new house. They used his parlor to sign the paperwork and work out the details of the surrender. It was a meeting that ultimately ended the Civil War. In Wilmer's own words, the war began in my front yard and ended in my parlor. Number 3. A book predicted Titanic's disaster. In 1898, a novella titled Futility was written by Morgan Robertson. It was a fictional story about the nautical disaster of the Titan that shared many uncanny similarities to the famous Titanic that sank 14 years after its publication. Both ships were claimed to be the largest passenger liner ever built, with the Titan measuring 800 feet and the Titanic measuring 882. The Titan had 2,500 passengers when it sank, while the Titanic carried 2,200. Both ships didn't have enough lifeboats for all the passengers, with the Titan carrying 24 and the Titanic with just 20. Both ships were claimed to be unsinkable thanks to the engineering feat of watertight compartments, the Titan with 19 and the Titanic with 16. Both ships began their final journeys in April, traveling across the Atlantic Ocean and were hit by an iceberg on the starboard side while traveling too fast at night. After the sinking of the Titanic, a new edition of Futility was released with the retitled name The Wreck of the Titan. Number 4. Separated Twins Lead Identical Lives Jim Lewis and Jim Springer were twins from Ohio who were separated at birth in 1940. They went on to lead almost identical lives 45 miles apart without knowing the other existed. In 1979, the two Jims met and discovered their similarities didn't end with just their first names. As children, they both had a dog named Toy. They both married women named Linda, who they later divorced. They both went on to marry women named Betty. Lewis's son was named James Allen, and Springer's son was also James Allen, but with two L's. Both of them took family vacations to St. Pete Beach in Florida. They both drove a Chevrolet. They both chain-smoked Salem cigarettes. And they both served as part-time sheriffs. Number 5. Enzo Ferrari and his doppelganger Enzo Ferrari, the founder of the sports car bearing his name, died on August 14, 1988. Two months and a day later, on October 15, 1988, German footballer Mesut Ozil was born. Though this in itself isn't impressive, what is startling is the resemblance they share. The similarities between the two men are eerily uncanny with some even claiming it's proof of reincarnation. Number 6. Dennis the Menace Coincidence Hank Ketchum created the Dennis the Menace comic 
that was distributed by Post Hall Syndicate and published in 16 U.S. newspapers on March 12, 1951. On the very same day, a comic created by David Law, which was also named Dennis the Menace, was published in the UK by DC Thompson as part of Beano Comics. Both creators admitted there was no way of knowing what the other was working on and agreed to allow each comic to continue without any claim of plagiarism. Number 7. Married Couple Cheat Together Online In 2007, a married couple in Zanika in central Bosnia were both caught having an online affair by their partners. The truth came to light when they both turned up to a date and were met with each other. Sonia and Adnan Klerik, who used the aliases Sweetie and Prince of Joy in an online chat room, had been unknowingly speaking about their marriage problems with their own spouse. Number 8. Woman's Signed Dollar Bill Returned A woman named Esther wrote her name on several dollar bills with the belief that one of them would be returned by the man she would marry. A few years later, she began dating Paul Gracken, who handed her one of the bills framed as a gift. Paul had gotten the bill as change and thought Esther would enjoy the unique present. He gave it to her on the night they officially got together, oblivious that it was the same woman who penciled the name. Three years later, they were married, and Esther explained the bill and the story behind it. Number 9. Man Who Won Big Twice After cheating death, Australian truck driver Bill Morgan went on to win a new car on a scratch card. When reenacting the moment for television, he won a further $250,000. In 1998, Bill Morgan was involved in a truck accident, which caused him to have a heart attack. The medicine given to him caused a severe allergic reaction that stopped his heart for 14 minutes and put him in a coma for 12 days. After miraculously coming around, his good luck continued when he won a car on a scratch card. When reenacting the moment on film for a Melbourne television station, he won $250,000. Number 10. Couple Discover Old Photograph Together In 2010, days before the wedding of Alex and Donna Vucinas, the couple was looking through Donna's childhood photographs. One particular picture taken at a Disney World in Florida in 1980 showed her posing with her siblings when they were all very young children. After a closer look, they were surprised to notice Alex's father in the background of the photograph, pushing a toddler in a stroller, who turned out to be Alex 20 years before. When the photo was taken, Alex lived in Canada and Donna in Florida. They posted it on Reddit and it went viral online. So that concludes our list of 10 unbelievable coincidences. Thanks for you to watch our video. We hope you enjoy this video. Please subscribe my channel.